figured while I had another quick minute here, I'd show you guys a little bit of insight into something else about uh, Revelations 2. Uh, on top of the story missions, you have this thing called Raid Mode. Uh, no different than Raid Mode from uh, Revelations. Uh, interesting thing, you go through and essentially, it's it's kind of got sort of, calling it an RPG aspect is a little, is a little off, but... So you come to this room and you're essentially... Uh, you spawn in and you're just like this little skeleton. You go customize and you pick your character. Um, there are several locked characters that you get. Clip so two in campaign, three, twenty more uh, completion medallions. Through the struggle, go to the campaign clear ray mode, things like that. But uh, you start off with. I think you actually, if you just bought the game, you start off with like these four. There might be these four. Um, I got hunk for a part of the season passing. One of those, this this picture right here really shows you how balding it is. So we'll just pick Barry. We can outfit him with different weapons of uh, a different level. So I'm a big fan of the handguns in raid mode just because they are very, very accurate, they're very quick. Um, they allow you some really good movement. So we got a, a level 7, level 10, we got the level 9 in there. I don't think I have anything better. The Samurai's Edge is one that I prefer. And then the star ratings actually tell you if they've got anything like special going on. So we'll just stick with that setup for now. Uh, as of right now, I've got all the skills that I can actually get, so we'll just stop customizing. There is this place over here, you get a little store. You can actually buy different guns and whatnot within the, uh, within the game. You can charge your consumables, you can sort it by guns, gun parts like that. A lot of this stuff you don't even have to buy because you will find it through. So we'll go to deploy. We got daily missions. Uh, nothing cool for daily events. Let's go to main. So we've done all of normal one of normal two you can see the completions there we haven't done anything of normal three so we'll just hop on over here to uh, hard and deploy on hard mode sure So hard one is the same as normal one, or just the enemies are a little bit more difficult to we got a record. Gather up all the stuff we can. These things are spawning. So this is kind of similar to like... Um, Mercenaries mode, but not, not quite fun. It's not as difficult. It just... Literally up there, you'll see in the top, uh, what is it, the top left, or I'm sorry, top right. There's the bit there that talks about my, uh, progress. So, I've killed six of 39 enemies. That's all it is, it's literally just killing everything that spawns. Forgot about this thing. So 
essentially everything you pick up will um, decode to something else on the end of the, uh, the round. We'll go on through, you go over to the old record player and it'll show you what you unlocked. sucks about this is they will not venture too far away from where they spawn so you don't get run up on like they pretty much stick to themselves Is it not not too much of a uh, early added bonus to it? Some of the missions do get pretty difficult, uh, especially if you're trying to go for like the completionist and you're trying to get everything in as fast of a time limit as you can to get burn that guy because we can. Like we need to. So, we're a little over halfway. Might as well get some of the Magnum out just because we've got ammo for it. So the door's open, but there's six more enemies that are going to spawn. We want to get that completionist medal. We want to hit everything. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to let the last six spawn on us. So that we can get that taken care of. We'll open this. So that they'll spawn. Where the hell they are. There he is. more where they at huh. there we go I got some handgun up. oh shit there he is both right there so that's all 39 we'll run on over here and we'll punch the medallion that's raid mode in a nutshell Really quick, really dirty, really easy. There's nothing fantastic about it, nothing difficult about it. So we did get all of those. Get a level up, got some more experience, or uh, some more skill points to spend. Get a part, two parts, three parts of that. Which fucking ones did I need? I don't know which medallions I missed now. I missed two. And I ran on through that. I'm wondering which two I missed. So I actually, I think I missed Take No Damage. Oh, 
Tell me the details. So, well, somehow we missed two on that. Anyways, that's uh, raid mode in a nutshell. Of course, my freaking cam would freak out at the end, and you get to see this super awesome look on my face. But, uh, stay tuned for more of Resident Evil Revelations 2 as we continue this Let's Play series.